I mentioned one thing in dual diagnosis meeting um, the other day, and that was that like when I was all doped up on this medicine I was taking for my pain, for my um, shoulder that was pinched, the nerve. I mentioned like it was so doped up. Like some people are like, "Yay, I'm stone! Like I don't feel anything. Everything's great." And I was thinking, it reminded me of um, when my mom traumatized me. I thought she was gonna attack me, and all the fixings that went on with that that happened like um, a year and over a year and a half ago. I was really traumatized by whatever she did and it I was fuzzed out fuzzed out on no medication like except for my normal meds for my bipolar for eight days and I was my executive functioning was going right out the window like I was forgetting to do things like I forgot to medicate my cat and then she got sick and I took her to the vet and I couldn't figure out what was wrong and then I realized like a few days later oh like, because I doss set on my cat's meds. Um, and I came to the end of the doss set, and I guess I thought she was finished, which is ridiculous, because then you just add the more pills from the bottle, or whatever, and... Oh my god. So, basically, when I was in this meeting, people were, like, thinking it was great to be all buzzed and doped up, and I was thinking, no, actually, I feel like I was traumatized, um, and it's not a good thing, so I think with my over 19 years of sobriety, like, it's taught me that I want to be clear-headed. I haven't been in the 12-step programs for that whole time, um, but I have for the last 10 years, and I, you know, like I said in other, um, when I post other things that I have been sharing and it gives me a focus and um, I feel like um, I'm confident and um, I get good feedback and everything's cool. I know I did a post about wondering if things were still cool because I was wondering if I, I was like going to be ostracized for taking these meds. But like everything's cool. Like I don't even want those meds. Um, I still have like my arm is like... Um, numb and tingly but it's not paining me so at night like last night was one of the best nights I even threw out the pills that I had taken the um, muscle relaxants because I was like I don't want to be in pain and say oh I'm gonna take these and then feel like drugged for the next 24 hours because I took like one dose um, so everything's going really good. Like I, I was wondering if things were gonna start to downslide and go bad, but they didn't really. Um, I think I have a good program and um, I, think, <laughs> I think I'm happy. So I've been happy for a really long time and I'm not jinxing myself by saying that. Um, I don't, I don't like, um, I try and eat healthy. Um, it's weird because when I get like feelings of depression or sadness, I don't feel like it's always a choice either. Like I'm looking, um, I'm using my sad lamp now um, because <laughs> because the sun's not out and I feel really tired today, really. So I do feel tired today and so I don't feel as happy, um, but I am happy. It's just that I just feel tired. And um, the cats let me sleep in an extra hour because I was cheering till 11 and my bedtime is like 10. So I was like in bed at like 12.30 um, and yeah, so yeah. I just wanted to say like the switch of perspectives is really amazing because I don't want the meds anymore. I don't want to be doped up anymore, so. Here it is, my sat lamp. I didn't show it to you properly. Ha, ha, ha.